Okay, we have one leg of a right triangle is 9 centimeters longer than the other leg, and the hypotenuse is 45 centimeters. Find the lengths of the legs of the triangle. Okay, so as soon as I see the words right triangle, I'm thinking Pythagorean theorem. What does the Pythagorean theorem tell us? Well, it tells us for any right triangle, um, A, B, and C, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? And c has to be the hypotenuse. You can switch a and b. Okay, so let's draw a picture. Anytime they give you a problem that's a ge geometry-related problem, draw a picture so that we can work off the geometry and not the words, right? It's much easier. Okay, one leg of a right triangle is nine centimeters longer than the other. So let's call this x and the other leg is nine more, okay? Longer than, those words mean plus. And it gives us the hypotenuse, 45. Okay, and now we can forget about the words for now, right? Now we work off this figure. This is a right triangle. By the way, this works off a right triangle only. Okay, so let's hit it with the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared, x squared plus x plus 9 squared equals 45 squared. Okay, let's expand this x plus 9 squared out using a plus b squared is, is a squared, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so we have x squared plus x squared plus 18x plus 81 equals, let's see, 45 squared, 2025. Okay, now, anytime you have an x squared on one side, you want to have zero on the other side of the equation. Things with x squared in them like to be set equal to zero. So let's do that. So we have 2x squared plus 18x. I'm going to subtract 2025 from both sides. That gives us negative 1944 equals zero. Okay, now we go to factor this, but always check to see if you can factor out a GCF first when you go to factor. In this case, we can, right? We can get a 2 out of this thing. x squared plus 9x minus 1944 divided by 2, 972. I, can, I calculated all these out, by the way. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing this in my head. Okay, divide both sides by 2, right? We can just get rid of this 2, basically. Okay, so what does that leave us with? x squared plus 9x minus 972 equals 0. Ooh, and now we have to factor this. So that is no joke. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we have negative 972 here, 9 down here, and we need to find these factors. So our goal, we need factors of negative 972 that add to nine. Now this is going to take a long time. <laughs> Maybe. There's a little bit of a trick though. When this number here, when your C term or your C term here is negative and large and your B term is small, you can take the square root of this number of your C term, the positive version of it, to give you a starting point. Okay, so let's see here. It's just a trick. Square root of 972 is about, well, we compute that out, about 31.2. 31.2. So that tells us, right, so we need to find factors of 972. So you kind of start around there. So maybe you try 32. Well, oops, 32. Well, that's not a factor of 972. We divide 972 by it. Maybe we try 31. That doesn't work either. But we know we're close because, unless it doesn't factor, which it could be the case. Turns out if you go down to 27, right, you just have to try a few to try to get something to factor. You get something. 
972 divided by 27 is 36, which does the trick. Because we can subtract um, 27 from 36 to get 9. So now let's just deal with the negatives. Since 9 is positive, I want the bigger number here to be positive. So we're going to write 972 as negative 27 times 36, and that gives us our factored form. So that square root trick is really useful. 36. So our factored form is x minus 27, x plus 36. OK, equals 0. Setting each one of these factors equal to 0 and solving gives us x equals 27, x equals negative 36, which we promptly toss out because we don't want to have a negative length here for this triangle. Remember, x is the, the length of this side. So here we go. We're almost done. It says find the lengths of the legs of the triangle. Legs. So um, this base leg is going to be, let's switch over to blue here. This will be 27 centimeters. OK, so there's the answer for the shorter leg. And then this one here, we add 9 to that. 27 plus 9 is 36 centimeters. There's the longer leg.